Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about calculators. Um, as a, I just finished my fourth year of uh, engineering and I'm doing a fifth year because I'm doing a double degree but I just want to talk about my experiences with these calculators and what the best ones are for typical use and for ones that you can use throughout your degree and your studies. Um, after four years I can say that, or in my second year I actually bought this one and I'd say this is the best calculator you can buy. Just for, I'll, we'll go through the reasons in a sec. So this is the calculator I had in high school. Nothing's wrong with it. It's great. I highly recommend Casio's. It does all the stuff you need it to do, all the basic stuff. I love the natural layout of the fractions. It can give you mixed fractions. Oh, that's a bad example. So it can give you mixed fractions as well as just regular fractions. Uh, it's basic scientific calculator, got all the features you need. What What's the model number of that? That's an FX82AU. Now we can talk about the TI84+. Plus. Uh, the other common models are the TI83. I think there's an 85 as well. But they're overpriced pieces of, I would probably say, I wouldn't say junk because they're highly valuable to engineering students and other students that use them. But... Uh, they're the same technology for like what 30 years old and they do the job I guess they're graphics calculators you can program them with programs so what's an example um, so if we want to graph x y equals x squared it does that it's good for kind of probably year 11 year 12 for Australians uh, maybe even mandatory you can do complex numbers which is highly useful. You can upload your programs to it and it's all good. You might have to clear the RAM for exams. But today I want to talk about, I think this cost me actually 150 bucks Australian. Could be different for the Americans and the British. But today I want to talk about this, the Casio FX570 ES Plus. It cost me 20 bucks Australian on eBay. Probably the best, seriously, the best $20 I've ever spent in my entire life. This calculator is worth $1,000 to me just because of the functions that it can do. So, I just want to go through. So, particularly for the electrical engineers, or the electrical engineering students, rather, and the mechanical engineers, I guess anyone that that's always doing maths and mathematical stuff. Um, I'll go through basic functions that are extremely helpful to me. Lots of these things are in the manual, but I just want to show them off because I'm not <laughs> I'm not advertising for Casio or anything, but I would highly recommend, especially if you're doing electronics, to get this calculator. It will make your life so much easier. It's non-programmable, so you can take it into any exam. And I've even had lecturers uh, recommend this one to me. So first, I want to demonstrate that it can do complex numbers. So if we just do 5 plus 3i... It can show it to me in rectangular form, but then I can do um, division of complex numbers as well. The, this can do that same thing, but it won't display it to you in a nice natural format. So you see it can give you those minus 3 plus 5 by rectangular form, but you can also transform this shift complex into a uh, polar form which is really, really nice. And then you can even, so it's got the absolute value mode. So instead of working out, there we go, shift abs. So instead of doing the manual working out for that, it can just give you the absolute value of the function, which is really nice. I basically use that in a day-to-day -day scenario for homework for power electronics and circuit analysis, thing, things like that with phases. So another function I want to show off, I think everyone would be able to use this function, is the solve function. So this is basically solving one linear um, equation for, or not even linear, but any equation for one, one variable. So if we go 10, 10x equals 56, shift, solve. Oh, by the way, I didn't, oh, we have to change modes. 10x 
equals 56, shift solve, x equals 5.6. Now you might be thinking, yeah, I could have done that in my head, but this consult, this is extremely powerful where if you have uh, even, so we'll solve polynomials. So like this, hold on, that's a bad example. Sometimes it takes a while, especially for trig. But uh, this has even made me complacent with my algebra because I just put all my algebra into the calculator now. But there you go, it will give you at least one solution to that equation. And sometimes one solution is the only solution you need. Another really valuable feature is doing Riemann sums. So we can sum from 0 to 100 of x squared, right? There you go. That's, that's really cool. Um, likewise, we can do integral or oh, derivatives. So that's pretty simple. We can do integral oh, integrals. So we can, this is all numeric by the way. So it's pretty worthless to the math students because they're always doing analytical stuff. But once you get past those initial stages, as an example for a simple integral, obviously you can put trigonometric stuff in there and it will work. Um, let's just try something. There you go. Uh, you might have to double check if that's in degrees or radians. Uh, matrix equations, another nice feature. So if we go mode, matrix, oh, not matrix, sorry, equations, five. So we can solve all these different types of linear equations. I think it's got cubic in there as well. So if we have x plus, oh no, 2x plus 2y equals 10, and three, 5x plus 3y equals 25, x equals 5, y equals 0, piece of cake. One last thing I'd like to show off is the base n function. So these are probably the main functions I've used over my electronics studies, but I'm sure the mechanical guys and all the other people can use these features too. Uh, this is probably quite basic, but it can save some stress. So if we have 10 in decimal, that's a in hex, 12 in octal, uh, where's binary, and 10, 10 in binary. So just as a nice kind of backup, you've got there um, a converter between different base types. So just probably my favorite feature is actually the complex mode that we sh that I showed off before. But um, I highly recommend this calculator. It's, it's really cheap. It will save you lots of stress. It's non-programmable, so it's the best. And I think there might even be a new model of this out or, or some better ones with... Um, solar displays but if you've got any questions leave a comment uh, good luck with your studies and thanks for watching